are going to look at someone else's day 100 and automatically compare it to our own day five we are not in the same space we cannot have the same results it is not even the same thing that is one of my favorite word or let's say favorite phrase from Tokyo Makinwa. I promised I was going to do like a review of some of the programs that I watch or let's say some of the podcasts that I watch. And in this video, I'll be talking about Tokyo Moments and Tea with Day. I have some other ones, but I don't want these videos to be too long. So I'll just be doing those two and subsequently we'll do other programs or other podcasts as well so let me start by saying i have watched all of yes all of Toke's videos from about 11 years ago when she started when she started every single one of them she started when it was just only her and a camera or she let's say on a laptop just making videos before she brought people into the vlog and all of that everything that she has what is it called Put into that vlog even from only herself talking i've enjoyed it and i have learned so much from it so i'll just be talking about lessons from her and from other guests that she has brought so from Tokyo herself she said it's easy for you to look at someone else especially now that we have social media you look at someone else, you see the way the person is posting and just like god i want to be like it's okay to want to be like somebody or to want to have something but you were not there when the person was struggling just like the first my phrase that i said like we are going to look at someone else day 100 and automatically compare it to our own day five five and hundred there is a whole 95 in between and you don't know what happened in between that 95 before we see the hundred that we see today so i just feel a lot of us can just relate to that like it's okay for us to see something i want to be like that person but a whole lot of work went into that thing so instead of wanting to be or just comparing yourself why not just work on yourself you're on your day five take the seeds that it comes and all of that and all of that before you know it you'll be in your old day hundred and you'll be good as well so don't compare you don't know what that person that you're looking at went through before they got to where they are just take your own day as it comes and just move with it and one other thing is some things happen to us and then we don't know why it happens and maybe we are hungry that why is this thing happen to me but then maybe after some time when you look back you'll be like god thank god that happened because if that had not happened maybe you wouldn't have learned some things that you learned or i think i shared some of I share something like that when I did my December challenge that I'm grateful for things that didn't go my way, yes. Because some things are going wrong and we are very angry because we don't know why. But let's just give it some time, maybe a year later or so, you just have a flashback. Oh, this thing happened. Wow, thank God it happened. Maybe if that didn't happen, you have been. I don't know, I just feel like, I think what that is just trying to say that certain things happen for certain reasons and i think that is just that i don't want it to be too long so another from what from our guests i'll start from funky akindele she was on our couch and then one of the things that i picked from that interview is she said consistency yes like people are quick to say be consistent be consistent but it is not just about throwing the word around it is not just about saying i want to be consistent like when you are very tired when it is glaring that you don't have to do this thing but be like her oh god i am disciplined i have to do this thing because i want a particular result like it is easy to throw the word consistency but doing the work that it takes is is not as easy as it sounds or as it looks but then consistency and discipline is according to her think i can use what has kept her or what has brought her this far of course there are challenges of course there is breakdown but no matter what so far what you the end what you stand to gain your desire for that is stronger than whatever obstacle is going to come your way i think that is it you are good to go of course there's going to be breakdown of course there's going to be failures but no matter what comes your way stand up just your shirt and just continue so that is where discipline and consistency comes in and let me just keep this in. it is not part of this recently i watched one of our interviews about a tribe called judah this is not part of token momento but let me just chip it in his finger i said the same thing so there was i think the person was asking her about success she was like okay 
you can be successful if you want to be successful do you want to be successful or you want to be exceptionally successful if yeah, anybody can be successful it's okay it is not a child's play it is not a joke it takes a lot of work to be successful but do you want to be successful or you want to be exceptionally successful that got me i was like yes that is it it's easy to throw the word consistency but are you really consistent like are you doing what it takes like are you very disciplined so i think that is what is about that next on the guest list for token means is Bilonia chef yeah chef tolu erots ah god i hope i get this right yes what i picked from that whole interview between toke and chef tolu is branding or should i say, yeah let me just use that word branding the way he he went about his business and should i say um what is this word hey god what is this word i'm always saying it like saying things to yourself oh now i have i don't know block i can't remember that particular word but like where his name came from because his name is tolu erod but where the name came from i think he said one day he was traveling and he was at the airport and the thing just came to his mind and we should change to Bilonia Chef and look at him today like that name i'm looking for a particular word presently and i can't find that word i know what that word is but presently i can't find it like he said that thing like he has been calling himself Bilonia Chef and look at the way the name is following him all around and obviously he's successful in his business and all of that i'm looking for a particular word just to capture what i'm seeing but i cannot find that word Just, what is that thing when you have to say something to yourself? Just say it. Just proclaim. Just say good thing about yourself. Just say this thing. Is it affirmation? No, God, I can't find this word. But moving on. The way he branded his business when he started, started he, he started the private chef thing. Cook, he started cooking. He would call friends to come and eat. Then he started cooking doing private what is it called for billionaires in lagos and all of that the way it started and then he traveled in 2020 to the us and then lockdown happened and then he started he got an apartment then he did like should i say a cafe or a restaurant um in the house but yes it started that way and then people started coming in and people started eating his food and that way that way that way that way what i picked from that whole interview is branding the way you package yourself and the things you say to yourself like one day just said himself that is a billionaire chef he changed his instagram and and that is it and the name has been following him around of course it's not like that he is not just about that rather there's some background work that went into the business putting in the work consistency but then the power of that word is is giving me i don't know i know what it is but presently i can't remember it just say good things about yourself say things to yourself like just say it i am this thing i am this thing and this thing work and watch it happen to you so i think that's what i pick from that next on the line is should i say lillian yes lillian um akanchawa body yes lillian akanchawa body but um that particular what is it called vlog is about the sleeping dating site in Lagos and all of that but what i pick from it is that some people for her own case someone was not going to date her because she was an actress and public figure and all of that and what 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 she said is that that made her um that made her reevaluate herself and think she's not going to leave uh career for anybody she's not if you don't like her the way she is just leave her and what i pick from that is that it's okay if other people think what you are doing is too much for them to undo that is not on you that is on them they can't undo you being successful it is not on you that does not mean you have to relent that does not mean you have to stop being you no it's too much for them to undo let them be continue just do your thing whoever is going to be able to undo who you are with what you are doing the person is going to come your way and i think what she closed that interview with is that she's not more bothered like she's not concerned like she's a child of god she knows that god is going to sort it it is not for her to worry about she's just going to continue to do her thing whoever is meant for her is going to come her way and i just feel it makes sense i've always heard things like oh it's always maybe it's difficult for successful women to find true love and all of that i don't know what is it i'm not there yet but i'm just 
trying my best and even with that it just makes sense that if you feel this person is too much for you that does not mean you should bring whatever it is that she's doing now okay so she's an actress so nah she's not no it's okay if you don't want to be with an actress it's okay if you feel she's too much for you you can't handle her leave her alone the person whoever it is that god has their stand for whoever it is that can handle her that is okay with what she's doing the person is going to come away and this is fine and who else abimbola craig yes what i also picked from an interview with stoker is about people like the way people want to project project their own fear on you i don't know if i'm putting this to you but god i know what i'm saying i promise you i know what i'm saying but i hope you are getting whatever it is that i'm trying to say like the way people want to project their own fear on you she used a particular word now i cannot remember but then like don't don't let don't let other people project their own fear on you so because they can't do this thing and it's easy for them to just throw it on you and you also be scared and you'll not be able to take that route as well so don't let other people project their own fear on you and who else i don't want this thing to be too long I, i've talked i've spoken about toke herself yes like she's i don't know I think what watching our vlogs has made me realize is that don't jump don't jump into conclusion about anybody except you might never even get to have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with them but just pay your close attention like watch them yourself and then you can judge whatever you want to judge but don't judge from what you are hearing from other people from watching our vlogs from watching our videos from following her i really don't know much but what i can say is that she's a very intelligent lady i promise you just pay close attention she is very intelligent she has been through a lot in this life but she's very intelligent and she's a very wonderful person i don't know her but then from what i've seen our videos that i'm not even talking about videos from now like i'm talking about videos from like 10 years ago when she was just becoming the token macron that she is today videos from those times like that is what, like you can see that this person has been there let me quickly say that in one of our videos i think it was in the video interview with liliano so she was like people were like maybe she's slaying or something and she has a breaking bag she was like our first ever breaking bag came when she was maybe 30 or so and presently she's 39 and obviously she has been working like it is just everything is just about we are going to look at someone's day 100 and compare it to our own day five and we feel like we should have what that person in that day 100 has it does not work that way it takes a kind of work a kind of consistency and i just hope we are willing to what is it called put in the work and the patience and all of that i just one more person that but i lost in also love that particular what is it called i don't want this video to be disloved. i also love uh what is it called with toke i think she's a business person maybe she does cosmetics and all of that in the usa but i love her interview with toke like women standing on business doing her thing i think i should just pause this here i want to talk about tea with stay as well but then i don't want this video to be unnecessarily long this is over 30 minutes already i think i should just stop here maybe just make another video for tea with stay i want to talk about tea with stay i want to talk about honest bunch that one is going to be a whole video i know that one is going to be very long but i promise you it is worth it i promise it i don't know when it's going to come up. i don't know when i'm going to be, but i want it to be as detailed as possible so i'm going to do tea with stay that's going to be my next video and i'm going to do honest bunch and lillian used to do a she used to do this youtube video and all of that for but i think she stopped but from the ones that i've watched i've also learned a lot from them like guests like nancy next video is going to be from tea with stay nancy was there kiki vicky james jemoli tito the writer Sen selem the, the, see I watch these people. I enjoy watching it and I've learned so much from them and I'm willing to share it and just so that if you enjoy it, you can also watch them as well. But I think I'm going to stop this video here. If you are still here, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I realize that 
a great number of people that watch or should i say about 70 percent of people that watch my videos don't subscribe they just watch and go so please subscribe to my channel if you think this video made any sense to you at all if you think you enjoy it if you think you learned anything from it please subscribe to my channel that is all i ask thank you so much and i'll see you in my next please drop your comments what do you think do you think this makes sense did you learn anything from it just drop your comments i'll be reading and i'll see you next week is going to be about cbt i promise you and i'll see you next week bye